Yo, we could take Elon Musk's approach and somehow fly everyone to Mars. Or, hear me out, we can do the much easier, much more logical way of trying to save the human race, and that is to stop the burning of coal and gas. All of us know that climate change is causing more and more disasters and will just lead to further catastrophe. We also know that the solution that we need is not something that's been concocted by a billionaire who resembles a villain out of Doctor Who. We know the solution we need is not Dutton's plan, which is to extend the life of coal and gas under the guise of nuclear energy. We know the solution we need is not approving more coal and gas, which is what Labor has done 25 times in the past three years. What we need is to be transitioning away from these dirty fossil fuels. The Greens want our communities, our power grid, our economy to be prepared for this transition, not scrambling to adapt at the last minute, not being left behind on a dead planet while the rich people jet off to Mars. We know that Australia can reach net zero by 2035. This is a huge transition and we must not leave anyone behind. The Greens want to see renters have access to solar panels where they live so they can bring down their power bills. We want to make thousands of jobs so that people across the community can be employed in this renewables transition. The Greens want to save our native forests to save our wildlife. We want to see politicians stop accepting these dirty donations and then torching the planet as a result. There is still hope for this planet if we say no, we work together, we're going to stop burning coal and gas. Cheers. Authorised by Sweet One, 600